Hi everybody! In this video we're going to take a look at the Christmas slash GameCube that I produced with the Producer Essentials Pack Volume 1. So without further ado, my name is Santa, uh, I'm in Mephaz, let's go! Okay, so let's uh, first make a quick playthrough of the track and then we will break it down and uh, see what kind of presets that went into this song. So, let's listen. Yeah, so it's a uh, kind of a Christmas uh, game track, maybe for a puzzle game menu theme or something. This track started with the Pluck uh, starter preset from the Producer Essentials pack. And uh, I fleshed out these uh, chords. <laughs> And then they just uh, repeat. And uh, for uh, the preset I just uh, added maybe some additional an equalizer just to cut out the absolute lows of this, of this sound. I also had an LFO tool but I don't think I used it maybe. No it wasn't used. I think it was for for a gating kind of, yeah side chaining kind of effect. But I decided to remove it from, because there's al already this uh, note arpeggiator that's uh, chopping up the notes. And the arpeggiator is set to, to chord mode, so that it, it will play all the chord notes for each uh, ar arpeggiation step. And then I open up the filter after a while here for the chorus. So uh, it's a little bit more future bassy for the for the chorus. Then the second uh, thing I added for this track when I have had decided on the chords, I went for uh, the kick muff, which is also a preset. It's a kind of a kick that's uh, created with uh, with the phase four synth within Bitwig, and it sounds like this. And you can control the tightness and top frequency and uh, the body of this uh, of this sound. But I left it. Uh, mostly untouched. Then uh, the real major patch in this uh, in this track is this uh, low fee bass, also part of the of the producer essentials pack. You see you have the low fee bass in the polysynth uh, folder. And uh, it also has uh, some uh, filter frequency uh, 
the filter cut of uh, modulation. You can see here for, uh, for the verse of the track, in the intro you have the filter open for the bass. And then when we go into the verse, let's see, there we have it, then it slopes down. So the, both the bass and the plucks are filtered during the, the verse and then they open up for the chorus to make the chorus sound bigger and more lush. Then for the melody on the verse we have the Galvan C64 um, patch which plays this uh, bleepy kind of melody. I only added some replica XT at the end here. It's not included uh, within the actual preset from the pack, but uh, you can add whatever delay you want at the end here. Then I also dubbed this lead with a Bavu Epic Pad. I think it gave the sound uh, a nice uh, character to blend these two sounds together. Then we have some ambient noise going on in the background, or rather in the top end, you can hear here. This uh, ambient noise preset is also included in the pack. The only thing I did here for this track specifically was uh, add this EQ5 and create uh, two points um, where I have uh, an LFO attached to both of the, their uh, frequency settings, so they, they are modulating like a comb filter. Then we have some, uh, some impacts here and some uh, water droplets uh, as uh, percussion. And all the uh, percussive sounds in this track, except the drums, comes from uh, my other packs, the Wood Sound Pack uh, Volume 1 and uh, uh, the Water Sounds Pack. So that's the impact. And then we have a noise riser here. And it's also from the Producer Essentials Pack. With just some additional Valhalla Room reverb for the, for the absolute uh, final sweep. Then we have another fill kind of lead during the verse section. And it's the, the pick it out preset from uh, also from the producer essentials pack. I might have done some slight changes on this one. I think I introduced some more uh, um, modulation from this uh, second oscillator to make this sound more bright. And I also see that, that I added some of the purple oscillator in there too. There's some happy arpeggios just before we hit the chorus. And on the chorus you have the producer essentials pack, uh, the kit, the producer essentials kit with the very heavy fill there. A little bit of exotic drumming there. Which is uh, dubbed with this uh, water. Not water, but wood drop. It's from the wood sounds pack, yeah. It could have been a clap, but uh, I like to use uh, Fowley sounds. If you watch my pre previous videos, you know that I love to include Fowley sounds in my music. And I also have a layer on the second part of the, of the, of the chorus. I have uh, some layers of wood chops, even more. They are slightly offset to make them sound more like a clap. A 
And for the chorus, we have the same uh, plug starter preset that goes on, but it's open up the filter. And then we have the key bell, the minimal sign blip, and the tender pad playing the, the lead melody at the same time. And these are all, all uh, these are all the uh, presets from the producer essential spec, and they are also dubbed with the Galvan C64 lead. Maybe I should move it up here so they are all in line with each other. And then on the second part of the chorus, we have this uh, holo, bu holo bird pluck, a kind of San Holo inspired sound. Yeah, you can hear there. I'm activating this uh, San button to make to make that the birdie kind of dropping sound. And then we also have the pick it, uh, pick it out lead, doing some things there. But in the first part of the chorus we have the face, just a simple face 4 preset with a, uh, with a sign and some, some overtones added to, to make it a little bit more bright for this short bleepy sounds. And still the same low-fi bass going on. And some more impacts. And a little bit of tambourine. And I also added some uh, uh, hi-hats that I did with my mouth. With my mouth. So if you don't have the instruments, just use your mouth and make it happen. Yeah, so uh, that's about it for this uh, Christmas track. I hope you liked, uh, liked this little cue and uh, please check out the pack, the Producer Essentials Pack Volume 1 for Bitwig Studio. The link to the pack is uh, here down below. If you liked this video, please subscribe and uh, Press the bell icon to get notifications when I have new videos out. Please also consider becoming a patron to support future videos like this. Also a link in the description. Now you can continue and watch my next uh, Bitwig Studio tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, see you very soon. Bye bye!